Hello everyone, myself Professor A.C. Zadho, Department of Horticulture, KKV College of Agriculture, Biotechnology, Nashik. Propagation. Simply the propagation means the multiplication of the plants. By definitions we can say it is and the controlled reproduction of the plants by a man in order to perpetuate a selected individual or a group of individual which is having the specific value to him. There are the different methods of the propagation. Particularly, the vegetative propagation is considered to be a very important one in many of the fruits and the ornamental plants. In a vegetative propagation, again, as per the bi bifurcated methods, there are again very important method that is the propagation by the specialized vegetative plant parts or the structure. So, we are going to study the same topic like propagation by the specialized vegetative structure. When we are mainly concerned with the plant parts, in general plant parts, there is a root, stem and the leaves. But apart from this one, we knew that many of the plants, they produce different types of the specialized plant part or the structure which has nodes internodes or the auxiliary birds and the, with the help of such type of the auxiliary birds or the nodes this structure or the plant parts we can use for the further multiplication so these specialized plant part or the structure again classified into the separation and division separation separation is the method of propagation in which underground structure of the plant are divided not by cutting but they breaking along the natural lines between the segment means they are the naturally divide from the plants with the such a type of the segment line and from the segment line we can divide it and use for the planting for example bulb and the combs second types of the specialized plant parts are the divisions division is a method of propagation of the plant using cut section of the particular part like a rhizome, tuber, tuberous root, etc. Means in a divisions, they has again nodes, internodes and the number of the birds and on the nodes or internodes, we divide it and along with the three or the four number of birds, we can place or plant for the further multiplication. by one we can study the different specialized plant part used for the propagation in which the first one is the bulb bulb are produced by the monocot plants in which the usual plant structure is modified for the storage and the reproduction a bulb is a specialized underground organ that consists predominantly of the fleshy leaf scale growing on the stem tissue that is from the basal plates it has again the advantageous type of the bird and these birds are used for the further multiplications so in a bulb category again the bulb is divided into two types number one tunicated bulb and number two is a scaly bulb example of the tunicated bulb is a onion in a tunicated bulbs there again there are the number of the scale and at the base, there are again the presence of the auxiliary birds and the apex T. In this way, the stenicated bulb again we can used for the further multiplication. Second one is a scaly bulb. Its example is a garlic. Garlic again has the scale loose, which is considered to be the fleshy one and rich with the food material. And the individual scale, which is considered as a Clove, we again use for the multiplication due to the presence of auxiliary birds. So, this type of the bulb is known as a scaly bulb. The important specialized structure is the corm. In contrast to the bulb, corm is a solid stem structure which dis with a distinct nodes and internodes. The corm is a modified stem. Food is stored in this compact stem. Here we can observe that this is the diagram 
or the picture of the corp so this corp is enriched with the food material and again has a nodes and inter nodes so generally such type of the vertical lines we can observe in the form of the nodes on the corps and it is wrapped with the dry leaves when the corm is a sprout into a new shoot old crop become exhausted into its food material and it can be compressed and turned into the compact press disc and in this way the new corm is developed on the old one in between the new corm and the old corm due to the presence of the adventitious buds again the small corms are developed these small corms are you consider as a daughter corms these are again used for the multiplications but many times we doesn't observe or obtain the good quality yield from the cormels while these new corms we can definitely use for the further multiplication the example of the corm is a gladiolus iris etc that is important specialized plant part is the rhizome rhizome is a specialized stem structure in which the main axis of the plant grows horizontally just below or on the surface of the ground rhizome typically it is the main axis of the plant which is considered as a true stem and the stem which we can observe above the ground from the rhizome it is considered as a false stem it produce the roots on its lower surface and extend the leaves and flowering shoots above the ground it may be a thick and fleshy or the slender elongated and but it is always made up of the nodes and internodes propagation by the rhizome consists of the cutting and dividing the rhizome into the number of sections which should includes nodes internodes and buds it producing the new shoots from the nodes and the roots from the adventitious buds on the lower surface example of the rhizomes are ginger turmeric banana canna etc that's for it is term used to describe the various type of the horizontally growing stem that produce adventitious root when come in a contact with the soil for example dub grass or the bermuda grass this is the common example of the stolon that is the dub grass or cynodon dactylons which grow very vigorously and very fast due to the presence of the stolon Expert is the runner. Runner is a specialized stem that develops from the axis of the leaf at the crown of the plant, grows horizontally along the ground, and forms the new plants at one of the nodes. The rooted daughter plants are dug out when they are well rooted and they developed, and used for the further multiplication. Example of the runners are the nephrolepis, then chlorophytums, strawberry, etc. is a tuber tuber is a specialized slow and underground stem which possesses the eye in irregular order over the surface eyes represent the nodes of the tuber arrangement of the nodes is a spiral beginning with the terminal buds on the stolon to produce the new plants tuber is divided into the section so that each section has a good amount of the stored food and the bird or the eye and that's why it is used for the further multiplication tuber divided into the two types stem tuber and the root tuber the well known example of the stem tuber is a potato and the well known example of the root tuber is a sweet potato or the dahlia in a stem tuber the short terminal portion of the underground stem which become a thicker because of the accumulation of the reserve food material propagation by the tuber can be carried out either by planting the whole tuber or by cutting them into the section each containing the bird 
eyes. Then second, that is the root tuber. Certain herbaceous perennial produce the thickened roots which contain the larger amount of the stored food material. Tuberous roots is differ from the tuber in that the lack in the nodes and the internodes. Adventitious birds are present only at the stem or on proxenate. Fibrous roots are produced towards the distillate. These fleshy roots are separated and used for the propagation. It is the short, thickened horizontal branch growing out of the crown ending at the apex with the turf of the leaves and a cluster of the leaves below. These are the special type of the branches or the lateral shoots which are produced from the base of the main stem of the parent plants. Example of the opsets are the pistia, pineapple, palm, agave, orchids, etc. And the last very important type of the specialized structure is a sucker. It is the lateral branch developed from the underground parts of the stem or the root. Sucker arises from the from below the surface of the soil. It may be arise due to the presence of the adventitious birds on the roots. However, in a practice, the shoots which arise from the vicinity of the crown are also referred as a sucker, even though originating from the stem tissues. There are the two types of the sucker. Stem sucker, which develop from the underground stem, and the root sucker, which is developed from the underground root plant part. Example of the suckers are the clerodendron, chrysanthemum, mint, banana, etc. So this is about the specialized plant part which we can use for the further multiplication or the vegetative propagation practice.